I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Hashtag Team Math Talino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag mo kayo muta mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na nag-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaral natin ngayon tungkol sa forms of linear equation. What you will learn, write linear equations from standard form to slope, intercept form, and vice versa. The forms of linear equations are all formats in which the information is written in. These two forms are most commonly used ways to write linear equations. So we have standard form. It is in the form of AX plus BY equals to C. Again, standard form AX plus BY equals C. We also have the slope-intercept form of an equation, y equals to mx plus b. So standard form, basically, if your x and y are on the same side of the equation, then it is in the standard form. We're in lagi magkasama yung variable x and y and then it should be equal to the constant. So that's why ang kanyang form ay ax plus by equals to c. While the slope-intercept form, it is in the form of y equals to mx plus b where m equals to slope and b equals to y-intercept. So magagamit natin itong slope-intercept form especially when we are asked to graph a line. Now, we will be transforming equations from standard form to slope-intercept form and slope-intercept form to standard form. So, let's start writing standard form into slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. Again, ang given natin ay standard form, itatransform natin into slope-intercept form. So, let's start. Example 1. Write 6x plus 4y equals 12 into y equals to mx plus v. Again, ang ating given ay standard form, gagawin nating slope-intercept form. So, we have the solution. So, the first thing you should do is to get the additive inverse of 6x. Ano ba ang additive inverse ng 6x? That is negative 6x o yung ibang term nila na ginagamit itatranspose daw yung 6x sa kabila which is kapag nilipat natin yung 6x magiging negative 6x but the right term for that is additive inverse so nilipat natin 6x sa kabilang side kaya naging negative 6x then bring down 12 and then we will be applying the mo uh, Multiplication property of equality, so we need to divide by 4. So, cancel natin. So, therefore, y equals to, lowest term ng negative 6 fourths ay negative 3 halves x. Then, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, therefore, our slope is negative 3 halves and our y-intercept is positive 3. So, therefore, that will be our answer. So, let's have another example. Example 2. So, our standard form is negative 4x plus 3y equals to negative 6. And then, we will be uh, writing it in y equals to mx plus b. Again, the first step is to get the additive inverse of negative 4x. Ililipat ulit natin sa kabila. So, it will become positive 4x. Again, yung negative 4x, ililipat sa kabilang side, kaya magiging positive 4x. We just get the additive inverse. So, therefore, bring down 3y equals positive 4x, then bring down negative 6. So, that's why equal uh, 4x minus 6. Then, after that, we will be applying the MPE. We just divide it by the constant of y. So, that is 3. So, cancel out. So, therefore, y equals to 4 third x minus 6 divides 3 is 2. Or negative 6 divides 3 is negative 2. Therefore, our slope is 4 thirds and our y-intercept is negative 2. 
Okay, so let's have our last example. Write 2x minus y equals 9 into y equals to mx plus b. Again, get the additive inverse of 2x. Ililipat po ulit natin yung may x sa kabila. So that will become negative 2x. So bring the negative y, don't forget the sign, equals to negative 2x plus 9. So kung mababansin nyo ay meron tayong negative doon sa unahan. So we need to divide it by negative 1. Therefore, y equals to negative divides negative is positive 2x. Positive 9 divides negative 1 is negative 9. Or you just change all the sign. Again, kapag may negative sa unahan, you just change all the sign or divide it by negative 1. Therefore, our slope is 2 and then our y-intercept is negative 9. So, as easy as that. So, ganun lang tayo mag-transform or mag-write ng standard form to slope-intercept form. Now naman, from slope-intercept form, gagawin naman natin siyang standard form. Kabalik tara naman. Okay, write y equals to 3x plus 2 into ax plus by equals to c. So, babalik tarin lang natin, just get the additive inverse of 3x. Kailangan ay magkasama yung x and y. So, therefore, yung 3x ay ililipat natin sa my left side. Para siya ay maging ax plus by equals to c. So, it will become negative 3x plus y equals to 2. And then, since may negative sa unahan, you need to change all the sign. So, therefore, our answer is 3x minus y equals to negative 2. So, that will be the standard form, the given slope-intercept form of the equation. Example 5. Write y equals to 4 pif x minus 3 into ax plus by equals to c. So, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayo ditong fraction. So, isa-simplified lang natin by multiplying each terms with the LCD. Ano ba yung ating LCD? 5. So, therefore, we need to multiply each term by 5. Again, multiply each term by 5. So, 5 times y is 5y. That will be the first term. Equals. We can cancel 5. So, therefore, 4x minus 5 times 3 is 15. Or, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Again, kapag may fraction, we need to multiply each term by the LCD para mas masimplify yung ating equation. Then after that, we need to get the additive inverse of 4x. Ililipat natin sa left side yung 4x and that will become negative 4x plus 5y equals bring down negative 15. And then, what are we going to do since may negative? We need to change all the signs. Therefore, our answer is 4x minus 5y equals to 15. Okay, so that would be all for our discussion. So I hope na naintindihan nyong mabuti yung aking diniscuss ngayon. It's just basic lang naman yon, just writing standard form to stop intercept form and vice versa. For your activity, you need to write each standard form. I think we have three items for this one. Into stop intercept form and for items four and five, we need to write the stop intercept form of the equation in a standard form. Okay, uh, you may get pen and paper and then you may uh, post the video for a while for you to be able to answer our short activity and then later on i will be revealing the answer so good luck and then have fun answering our activity
So our answers for number one, we have y equals to one third x minus six. For item two, you have y equals to negative two fifth x plus twelve over five. For item three, you have y equals to two x plus eleven thirds. For number four, you have two x plus y equals to seven. And for item 5 is 2x minus 3y equals to negative 24. So, thank you for watching. See you on my next video, mga kamathmates.